Welcome to NewsOK.com. I'm Jacob Owner here for a Super 5 Girls Basketball Update, joined by Player of the Year, Taryn Milton of Owasso. Taryn, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Quite a trip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, big season for you guys. First title uh, in a long time at the school. Um, I guess a good place to start is what does it mean for you to finish this way? Um, it means the world to me. You know, we have been through a lot this year, a lot of adversity, a lot of injuries, and to pull out on top is just amazing. You mentioned injuries. You dealt with an injury in the season. I think you missed, what, the first five games, right? Right. Um, how did you recover from that and, and kind of get things going? Um, I mean, just PT and getting confident in it. Like, I wanted to get that part of my body strong so that I could be confident and I could go out there and I wouldn't have to worry about the injury all the time. So, really just that. How did things kind of change for you guys once you got back in the lineup? Because you got they had already had a couple of losses. Um, you got back that last game of tournament champions and things seemed to kind of switch entirely at that point. Well, we all kind of grew as players this year. So I think me coming back, I just kind of added on to that. Um, I mean, people kind of know about me, Maya. People didn't really know about Taya. So, I mean, all of us together on one team was pretty much unstoppable. Yeah, what kind of addition was Taya? Um, she was a great addition. She helped us out a lot. Um, she ran the floor a lot, so we were able to get a lot of assists. And her defense was amazing this year. What about the combination of you and Maya? Um, that was what was most impressive to me a lot of times. You guys played so well together. Mm -hmm. um, well, we've been playing together since we were little, like third grade. So it kind of just comes naturally now. I don't really think anything of it. But um, everything just comes so naturally. We kind of can read each other on the court now. And we kind of got like that with Lonnie, too. So we've been playing with her since eighth grade. So it's a good combination. How much did the title loss your sophomore year kind of drive you this season? Um, it definitely drove us a lot. I know for me, Maya, and Lonnie specifically, you know, the, the heartbreak of that loss, we just wanted to get back to the game. And we knew that if we got back to the game, we'd do whatever it takes to win it. So. Do you still replay that final shot Sonaris Gaines had oh, in yes. your head? <laughs> yes. I mean, I've, I've looked at that <laughs> shot a whole bunch of times, and it's like every time I look, it gets closer to going in. But she missed it. So. <laughs> it, it really could have changed everything. It could have. Um, you know, that celebration, I know that's a huge moment and everything. Have you looked back on that part, too, of it, just how much fun that was? Yes, it was a lot of fun. Um, I saw I saw a couple videos of that too. I just remember like falling and crying and taking pictures and just endless amount of joy. So I have to ask too. Your older brother is Shake. Right. Um, people know him. He plays at SMU, uh, going to the NBA. How much did he influence you? Um, he influences me a lot. I think just like being able to look up to him and just being able to see that like someone who started from where I started is doing so great and getting to go to the NBA and getting all these chances and opportunities, it makes me want to get the same. You're going to UT Arlington, right. not far from SMU. Right. Was that, was that kind of planned that way or, or what? No, I mean, I know my brother is good enough to go to the NBA, so I knew he probably wouldn't be there. <laughs> so that really didn't have anything to do with it. I just liked where it was located, the coaches, all that. Yes, is that what drew you there was the location and all that or, or mm -hmm. I think I think what drove me the most was the coaches I felt like um, the head coach she really wanted me to play for her and I like the assistants as well and I like the team that they had and I like kind of what they're pushing towards over there so they they get a lot of kids from Oklahoma lately mm -hmm. um, what is what is, what do you think the reasoning is for that I don't know I really don't know I think She's had Oklahoma kids in the past, and they've ended well with her program, so I think she keeps going back. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. Thank you. And stick with NewsOK.com and get the best high school coverage in the state.